We are here to do your channel messages and what I see for your star sign in each month. Now, if you do like this content, remember to click the bell. And also we do have a brand new edition, which is the Romance Zone. So stay tuned for that. I will be bringing those channel messages with the Tarot live by mid-month. So if you do wish this content ahead of the game, you can join a YouTube membership where I pre-release these a week ahead. Take care and let's have a look at what I see for your zodiac sign this month. Welcome back. As mentioned, yes, we do have the new edition, which will be open on the podcast in premiere ahead of the crowd and also on YouTube. Now you can get these a week ahead and then they are open to the public thereafter. So if it's something that you're enjoying, come through and join us. Now, without further ado, let's have a look at your update, Virgo. Now, you can be experiencing some frustrations and there can be some cross wires that are coming up and coming through, especially around family and home. Um, I do particularly feel that there are some changes. A, you can be having both in your thought process, maybe to do with um, you and your identity. Uh, look, there's a lot going on. Your zodiac sign does appear to be going through a rebirth here. I do particularly feel, especially where it does come to your love zone, that this is a time where we can reconnect to the way things used to be, what was working, what wasn't. We can be bumping into those individuals. This can also be the non-romantic, more platonic type of energy. So it can be friendships, it might be pastimes, it could be habits that we're reviewing. And I also feel whether you are a couple or single, you're also going to be doing this. I do see for those of you that have children, there can be a reworking and I do particularly feel this is coming to the crunch and I don't necessarily feel it's all popping off this month. I do feel it's a cycle that we're going to be moving through in 2023. I, I do feel those that have children, they're entering into a new chapter. I also feel your romantic style. There can be a little bit of nervousness and apprehension. It's like really trying to re-navigate that, trying to get that chemistry back, trying to get that, you know, playfulness and, and fun. You know, things have been super serious for a while. Some of you may be moving into January 2023 with a little bit of deja vu. My guides are saying it's not the same. We're revisiting it, but it is here to show us how far we've come and what next steps we are needing to in the current energy where it stands. I do particularly feel you can be being very hard on yourself around um, your romantic style, uh, your diet, your creative process. It could be with your kids, but I feel there's this strictness there. Now, could it be that somebody is doing something wrong? Yeah, it could be. I feel some home truths are coming out, though, but I don't think this is a negative thing. I feel what you've endured over the last few years, it's really coming to a culmination point. It's coming to a peaking point. I do feel if you've been very unsure about how you're going to address these things, I do feel some of these things could come to a head. Some of you also may need to travel at a drop of a hat, but I feel this is coming through more towards mid-month into February. I, for some reason, I'm seeing renewing of vows, renewing of connections, renewing of negotiations. I also feel that you're going to be more strict with yourself in the area of love. It's very selective. I feel it's selective. I feel with what you're addressing, maybe you're having to be strict on yourself, maybe you're having to be strict on other people, but there's a lesson here that you learned, and I do feel it's because you've evolved, you're being more adult inside the circumstance. It's me more realistic. It's more 3D. I do potentially feel there is a grand change happening here. I also feel those that are in partnerships at the moment could have big changes happening on their partner's side of life, and that can be relating to their income, relating to their family, relating to their finances. 
I do feel the chemistry and the stability inside of connections is going to be something you have as a PDF. And what do I mean by that? I feel you're very firm on what you need inside a relationship now. And I do feel in order to alchemize those goals, you're being very realistic about what your base needs are. I do feel if there's any wounds in relation to um, intimacy, uh, grievances, cheating, I, I do feel shadow work is going to come up here. But I do feel universe is asking you to move forward and is showing you a better way to address such. I also feel some of you, a romantic partner is going to find you deeply attractive but very mysterious. It's almost like I feel the way Virgo is showing up is intuitively private, if that makes sense. I feel you're using your intellect to win a race. I also feel, uh, yeah, th there's spice and there's play coming in here, but we may need to kind of get through to mid-month for that to be uncovered. I do also feel that people are going to be working with you and you're going to find ways to actually make things flow more effectively. But I do feel to some degree you're trying to be fair to everyone and that could be causing some element of stress. I do feel by mid-month um, this is going to dissipate and I do feel you'll have a new beginning in that domain and I feel people are coming in to give you a hand but they're seeing your point of view. I definitely feel there's big things around tribe and community changing. I do feel for some of you, I don't know why I'm saying this, but we're just going to go with it. This is like prenuptials. This is um, binding agreements, marriages, engagements. It, it feels it's all up for grabs. Now, this can be moving forward into 2023, but my guides are showing me you're going to be taking on a realistic standpoint, and this could be really cementing a situation and as we progress into the year. For those of you that are single, I I, I would be open-minded to believe that a, e, the shadow work is going to occur, but I do feel you will be seeking more dependable connections. I do potentially feel in your career sector there may have been some stops and starts and trying to get that back on track may, for some of you, had been delayed. Some of you also may have had motivation and confusion around your area of career. For some reason, there also could be an energy of being understaffed. I do feel that can dissipate as we move towards the end of the month. Some of you are wondering whether you need to upskill, and this could be taking on two roles. Some of it, it could be that you're going to be training somebody. Um, it could be that there's a wellness situation, so some of this energy has been slightly delayed. I do see movement picking up though. So where you lost traction, I do feel it will pick up momentum and you'll get back into equilibrium and balance. For those of you that are looking for a new job, I do feel it's about acceptance and I do feel it's about networking and actually having those hard conversations but also making those hard calls. I do feel some creative processes that you put on the back burner. It might have been due to circumstances. I do feel you could be revisiting this month. I am seeing a lot of paperwork. Hmm. I also feel you may have a lot on your plate so especially surrounding family and home i do particularly feel changes happening and you could be having really candid conversations with these individuals this particularly could be your life is changing and therefore some of those ideals and expectations may be non-achievable with that pocket group um i don't necessarily feel it's a negotiation i feel it's a standpoint i feel it's a eviction or a um, rebuke of something that you no longer can do. I don't think it will go negatively. I do feel be wary and be mindful. I wouldn't say wary, be mindful 
um, of people's feelings. I do feel sensitivity is going to be quite heightened in January, both to yourself and others. Look, surrounding your wellness, I do think some of you, um, you're in that recovery energy, and I do particularly feel until the end of the month it's still very important for your zodiac sign to take extra caution surrounding such. I do feel around work you can be accident prone. You also could be um, agitated. Um, some of you could be lacking in motivation or feeling very um, psychologically spent. I'm also seeing crosswise, so pay attention when on, you know, when on the job. Pay attention. I also feel do not enter into disputes. Lay low because I do feel after you're going to have more clarity and something is actually going to go in your favour. I do feel somebody is exiting stage. But I don't think this is a negative thing. I think this is something that you've wanted for a long time and I don't think this is a romantic partner. Somebody, I'm hearing the term, somebody is going to get off your case. Somebody is going to get out of your way. But your patience is going to be rewarded. It does feel like a karmic test. I do feel some of you may, yeah, this is coming back again. It feels you're returning to an old project. I feel you're on the fence to do with something. Some of you may be multitasking. So it could be a home-based business and it might be, um, you know, over the other side, it could be some projects that you're wanting to complete. It might be some um, things that are broken down that need replacing. But very separately, I am seeing two employment opportunities one could be physically working at a direct location. The other could be more a personal endeavour. Um, this also could play out in a sense of being split and feeling split in between a rock and a hard place. Do I go left? Do I go right? I do directly feel you're going to have a choice between two. And, you know, it's not that one is better than the other. It's what do you feel is going to resonate with you more. So I do feel that whatever you're choosing to invest in, um, you're wanting um, the stability side of things. I also feel there is a potential you could do both, but I do feel you're going to be you're going to have to be quite methodical in achieving that. Definitely. So some of you may actually get a new car, but I, I would probably, if you could, wait till we do move towards the end of this month. Look, wipe anything down to white goods, technology. Um, I'm seeing a potential that you may want to upgrade. Now, this can physically be because you choose to, or it may be because something has outused its use by date and it needs to go. Virgo, I do see a lot of you wanting to, look, I feel you're looking at life very rationally. I, I do feel some of you could be experiencing headaches, throat aches. Um <clears throat> I also feel you're trying to intellectualise the situation. I do feel some unfinished business is going to be addressed, and I do particularly feel maybe people aren't ready to hear. But nevertheless, I do see you, Virgo, being very assertive. We will jump through and give you updates for your channel messages for mid-month. I hope you come and join us. They will be pre-released on our podcast down here on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, give us a heads up and come and join us via the website where you get additional freebie updates online.